All right, we are back. Uh, just give me a moment. Still getting settled with this. Make this a little bit smaller. For me. There we go. Alrighty. So it's been quite a while since we played uh, Grim Fandango. So I'm going to replay the last cutscene that we saw when last time we did play. Just to get caught up, shall we? Few cutscenes we were on. <sighs> Should have been one after this. No, I guess that happened while we were leaving. I think. Let's see, that was freebies. This was the beginning of that chapter. I don't even remember. I don't remember where we were. Uh, hang on one second. You saw the notification for you? Yeah, I wasn't sure, because I, uh, I feel like it's not set, getting set off for everyone. Yeah, we don't need to see that. Um, I don't think we need to see this one either. No, we don't need to see that one. What? Yeah, I am. Here. But even this isn't the last cutscene. Lola. What the hell? Where's the latest one? Sixteen out of seventeen. There should be a seventeenth one. So this is the latest one. Okay, whatever. I'll play it. I know we left out the start of the year three, but like cutscene wise, it seems weird. Like the order is strange. I think you mean two. Am I correct? It's fucking police chief. No, Fuck the police. The I think you've made a mistake. I'm sorry, sir. Thirteen so. is the winning number. Sorry, sir. Better look next. The way they say their R's. So strange. That Calavera is getting too big for his britches. Sorry, so I different. Like That's what I meant to say. Businesses and shutting them down. But someone's got to teach Manuel a lesson in law and order. Now I remember the plot. I just didn't. The cutscene order seems strange. Open those paddy wagons up and start filling them. And somebody find Calavera. Calavera. I'll explain what's going on after these cutscenes, unless someone in chat wants to do it. Ah, yeah, you better cut off the big guy's credit then. Yeah, yeah. Throw the drunk out on his big orange butt, and bring me Calavera so we can talk about his debt. Hey, come on! You gotta let <laughs> me back in! I'm a VIP! Does that stand for very inebriated pianist? Very inebriated penis? I don't wanna be a penis Don't pretend you weren't anymore. thinking it. I'm a mechanic. I know. That's why I got you a new job. Come on, let's go pick up your tools. And I can do whatever I want to the engine? Make it faster? Sure, <laughs> but you'll be plenty busy just keeping her afloat. Maz just key. obsessively too many pimps the shit out of every vehicle he you touches. Compulsively, I meant to say. Town. Just hope I don't have to go fishing you out of the drink again. I'll stay under next time. I promise. Yeah, this this is vine sauce. In one sense of the word, this is indeed vine sauce. One year later. <laughs> there he goes. That manic ass music for just sailing the ocean. Captain, Captain oh, sorry, I took your question. My bad, bro. Puerto Zapato, sailor. We're Puerto Zapato. Beautiful poor, didn't she? Yes, sir. Well, there's some customs officials down below, sir. They want to search the ship. Fine, Coming to fine. assassinate him. Got nothing to hide, if eh? I remember correctly. No skeletons in our closet. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh, man. Boys, like a rock this time. Manuel, 
Manuel. Salvador. If I ever have a son, I think I'm gonna name him Manuel. It's a sweet name. Said she threw herself overboard at the Pearl. I don't know if you believe that. Whatever you do, do not land in Puerto Zapata. It's a trap. Assassins will attempt to board your ship disguised as customs agents. Beware, and viva la revolución! Okay, that's that's where we were. And we'll load our game. This seems to be the latest one. All right, here we are. So, this game takes place in the land of the dead, which is why everyone is a skeleton. We were originally a travel agent who uh, is basically, um, whose duty is to help new arrivals in the land of the dead take their final voyage to their final resting place in the land of the dead, which is some kind of paradise place. So sometimes they take a boat, sometimes they take a train, or a walking stick, depending on their credit and how they how wealthy they were in life. Uh, eventually, Manny, who is our hero, discovers a conspiracy to uh, that basically hits a suitcase full of tickets for the number nine, which is like this ridiculously sought after uh, method of transportation. So someone's laundering it to make a lot of money. Ensign. Oh wow, they killed I'm everyone. I'm not gonna disrupt the evidence. I'm sorry I led you into trouble. Oh no. Oh no. That, that's the gist of it. And meanwhile, we've also been following this can't a dame. Be happening. Because that's that's how hey, that's how you he's do. Back here. Sack him. Oh, there's a lot of us to save my ass. Custom officials, open this door. Custom yeah, officials on, just shooting check people. Your bag. Don't worry, Captain. We're safe in here. Okay, let's just set the explosives and get the hell out of here. They want to kill us because we are discovering their conspiracy. Oh, that's right, this bullshit. Time for this bullshit. I remember we got to crisscross the... the anchors, I think. I think the best way to use this engine would be the controls over there, as opposed to the hands-on. Press this button. Lifts that. Come on, there's a button here. Reach. Uh, well, we're gonna reach using our scythe. It would probably be easier to raise it with the motor. Oh, okay. Isn't there a button here? Right there. Oh, now it's letting me. There, now we'll try this. Maybe. He lowered it just a little bit to get there. Yeah, look how handy we are. We're so fucking clever. Goddamn. <sighs> most clever skeleton in the world so what did that do <laughs> that did like absolutely nothing okay so those are both raised now I need to get them crisscrossed somehow and like split the shit in ship <laughs> split the shit in half So he does that, but then, like, nothing happens. Hmm. Yeah, how Glass fit? How's Glass fit in any clothes? This dude's huge. Look at him. I think the best way to use this engine, as opposed to the hand. All right. <laughs> Party sounds. Can't do that. <coughs> and absolutely nothing. Just nothing happening. Oh. Okay, so we moved into place. I guess what we gotta do, hand. Let's move back to where it was. 
drop the right anchor and then move that back, which will put it down. Okay. So that's there now. Now let's drop the anchor on the right. Now we move to the right. How many butts does this game cost? I don't know. Wait, does it not let me? Oh no. I thought that would get it dragged underneath me, but apparently not. Oh, there we go. Got it. Okay, so now that's over there. Oh shit, that was an accident. But I don't think it'll make a difference. Yeah, it didn't. Now we lower this one. The camera angle will co cooperate. And then. Ah, see that? Can't reach. Is this ready for the thing? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. This is like such a ridiculous <laughs> ridiculous puzzle there. Like we need to escape this ship somehow. How about we tie up their anchors? Tie up the anchors in knots. And then literally rip the ship in half. That's practical. It's a practical escape plan. Gladys, cover your ears. I like how Gladys just stands there. <laughs> totally didn't what even acknowledge that? Manny. The dotted line, buddy. There we go. Can't reach. Can't reach. Can't reach. Can't reach. Ship is gonna be blown up anyway. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I think this this puzzle took me forever when I did this I originally. These anchors anymore. We might go down with the ship. I do remember that because I've streamed this twice before, actually. We need to do it on this side now. If I mess with these no. anchors anymore, we might no more messing with the, the anchors. If I mess with these anchors anymore, so he won't we might mess with them anymore. With the ship. Nope. If I'm okay. There we go. There was a Monkey Island remaster collection of Fast so I buy it. Well, they already remastered uh, Monkey Island 1 and 2. But I think I would probably pick it up. Just a little farther, I mean, I like Monkey Island enough. And then we sunk. Good thing we're just skeletons. We would need no air. Air is overrated bullshit. Oh man, it's time for your favorite song. Or what will be your favorite song. If you've never heard it before. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. And <laughs> <laughs> he just stands there with his hand, hands on his hip. You don't have lungs. On his hips. You live without your heart once, so you can live without air for a little while. Just until I figure out what we're gonna do. <laughs> the slow light of mine. Beware, brave captain. Here in the darkest depths. I love Gladys. Lament, Best character. The most horrible monsters of all. Gladys is like a familiar or something, or an elemental. Of the deep will swallow you whole the instant you leave this pool of light. Heed my warning. 
or take one step forward and learn for yourself! All right, all right, I believe you. Just quit it with the creepy spirit of the land voice, huh? All right, I gotta look this up, so I'm curious. Yeah, here comes one oh, wait. Now. And I'm gonna pause for a second because I do want to look this up. I'm curious who actually voiced Gladys and what other games he's been in, if any. So I'm gonna look it up because I'm curious. To IMDb, that's still the easiest way to do it. Grim Fandango. Let's see who voiced Gladys. Alan Blumenfeld. Let's see. He is an actor and producer known for The Ring in 2002. Righteous Kill 2008 and War Games 1983. Huh. What did he do on the ring? Gotta go back. 2002. He played a guy named Harvey in the ring, apparently. Huh. He was in Psychonauts. He played uh, Boyd Cooper and Second Peasant. You know, that memorable character. He was in Jack 2 as Brudder. What else was he in, man? Nothing else I really recognize. Mad Men, he played uh, George Rothman, whoever that is. Maury Parkman in Heroes. He's been in a number of things. Floyd the Barber in Arrested Development. It was only in one episode. No, nothing really else notable. Yeah, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, Ringo. Kind of sea monster, but it was pretty spooky. What was pretty spooky? I didn't even see anything. You all right? I'm a spirit of the land, Manny, not of the sea. Hang in there, Mano. Oh, there he is, way back there. I'm pretty good. Shan Chandel Chandelier Sigma. Did I say that right? I'd definitely go over there first chance I get, but there's a lot of dark water between here and there. You all right? I must not hang in there, Mano. <sighs> yeah, he's an earth elemental. That's why he says I'm a spirit of the land, not of the sea. Also, look at his head. <laughs> I almost like the lighting in the original a little bit more in this scene. It looks moodier. I definitely. I gotta wait for that motherfucker. Look at him way there in the background. I don't know if you can see him. Way over there. Do I need to, like, snag him with my scythe or something? I remember lots of waiting in this scene. Not blue yet. Oh, come on. This guy. According to our map, I think that's the pearl. That soul has already been reaped. Oh, oh no, I can't talk to him now. Because I have my scythe out. I thought I needed to, like, snag his... Snag him by the light. Oh, no. Now I gotta wait. Oh, son of a bitch. So... So here's a... Here is a little scenario for you. If you could breathe underwater, but you have to, you have to breathe underwater, like, at least once every two hours or so. Like, you gotta spend an equal amount of time in water as you do in air, or you suffocate. Would you do that? You have the whole ocean to explore, and lakes and shit, because surely that stuff is really interesting. After you spend more than a couple hours down there still, right? What would you trade in order to ble uh, in order to breathe underwater? I almost said bleed underwater. How about this? You can breathe underwater, but your feet are horrific fins. Like so so horrific that when people see them, they freak out. They totally freak out. Here he comes. Amigo! 
Who? Oh, geez, another shipwreck. You see? That's why I never travel by boat. You need to be submerged in order to sleep, yeah, that's true. The ocean is 90% nothing, yeah, seriously. Just inhale a, <laughs> a bottle of water or two every hour. Alright, let's see. We've had a little accident. Think you could help us out? Depends on what kind of help you're looking for. Feet fins for the ability to live underwater, but they're they're horrific feet fins. Could we borrow that light for a second? Sorry, I'm kind of attached to it. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Could we tag along with you? Well, it's a long walk you're talking about. We don't have any other choice. Oh, all right then. Lift those knees, stick close to my light, and try to see. Here we go. This little light of mine, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let, let it shine. This little light, little light of mine, of mine. I'm, gonna I'm gonna let it shine. shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. You're gonna let hear this shine. a lot. <laughs> let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed. No, I'm no. gonna let it shine. Hide <laughs> it under some seaweed. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it. Under some, some seaweed, seaweed. no, no. I'm, gonna I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, shine. Gladys just like way off time. I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm not gonna let you touch it. Not gonna let you touch it. No. Yeah, VOD muted. Copyright infringement. Let it shine. 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 Gladys is awesome. He makes us tolerable. Any game that makes you just sit there while you wait for bullshit like this to finish. It's unforgivable. Okay. <laughs> There's Gladys's little little strut over to his spot. I thought that looked like our ship. That's just a trick the ocean plays on your mind, kid. Makes everything look the same after a while. Hey there, Mega Five Thousand. How are you? Well, this isn't the kind of progress I was hoping for. Oh well, the wet march of the soul ain't for everybody. Uh, can you take us? You sent for help. You send for help. Oh, sure. I promise to call for help at the next phone booth I walk by. Mm. What are you doing down here? Trying to get out of the land of the dead, same as everybody else. Why are you walking instead of taking a ship? Got sick of waiting around Rubicava for a boat. Rubicava. Make better time this way. Why didn't I think of that? How do you know where you're going? See the moon over there? I just keep it on my right. That way I know hmm. I'm heading in a straight line. But oldest trick in the book. Yep, makes total sense. Um Is everything okay with your eyebrows? Them is barnacles, genius. Ugh. They don't move fast enough to shake them, so they tend to pile up. I don't mind though, they're the only company I got. <laughs> Ain't you boys? <laughs> How long have you been down here? Well, let me put it this way. I wasn't always this color. Hmm. Shouldn't you have hit dry land by now? I'm trying to cross a big ocean here, Sonny. What do you know about it? I've already done it. In a boat. A boat? Don't talk to me about boats. <laughs> oh, man. Boats. We had such a nice boat. Why is everybody always talking about boats? You got a perfectly good pair of legs. Why not use them, I say? Let me guess. You died in a boat wreck. A boat wreck would have been better than what happened to us. Led off oh, so much dialogue. Equipment, Fall asleep. Reach, no food, it's terrible. No shelter from the sun. We started throwing the dead overboard. But then the shark began to yeah. the boat. <laughs> What happened in the end? What happened was I learned three valuable lessons. Stay away from boats when it comes yeah, fuck to navigation. Boats, man. Trust only the moon and the stars. And when there's only two of you left, never, ever go to sleep. Hmm. How have you kept that light going all these years? Well, a all these questions. Corals. They really wrote a lot of dialogue for this. It's pretty impressive. Thing. Glows like a lightning bug. It never seems to wear out. I had some of that once. Made a nice grappling hook. I don't think you <laughs> had what I got, because I don't think you've been to the place where I got it. Where'd you get the coral? Edge of the world, boy. That's the only That's right. We do need to go to the edge of the world. Could you take us to the pearl? Ha! 
You think somewhere in this ocean there's a gigantic pearl that shines so brightly it can be seen from passing ships? And that sometimes sailors so allured by its luster actually fling themselves overboard to dive for it and are never heard from again? Yep. Yeah, and I think it's right over... Over there. I've been walking this ocean for years. I ain't never seen it. No, really. The pearl is right over there. You poor sucker. That's the moon. <laughs> Tell me you didn't come all this way out here to pearl dive the moon. <laughs> the moon. Well, I don't want to break your stride there. Okay. See, watch out for school. These guys. Huh? Uh. Oh, they don't mess with old Chipito. I'm too bright for them. <laughs> too bright. <laughs> this little light of mine. She been locked. I wasn't always this shine. color. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. Let's talk. Ha! Mine. Motherfucker. This puzzle was nearly impossible before the remaster on modern machines because your CPU clock was too fast for it. He would like zoom past you or something. I think I'm supposed to reap it. I think I'm supposed to take my scythe and snag it from him. I like demons. Not blue yet. Yeah, let's talk to the lad and see what he has to say. You are the spirit of the hanging. Nope, same stuff. Uh, now we gotta wait for him to come around. Hide it under seaweed. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under seaweed. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Say long, Carrie. I don't know, there's some seaweed. No, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine. <laughs> also, he should be singing it right now, I think. Maybe stop because I talked to him before he made his lap. I broke it. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Demons can't be reaped. Is there anything else laying around that I can mess with? I don't want to miss. According to our map, I think the pearl. Yeah. Just gonna look around a little bit. Doesn't look like there's anything else. According to our map, I think that's the pearl. Take it. That soul has already. My. That soul. Ah, fucker. God damn it. Ugh. Now I gotta wait again. I definitely go over there. Do I have anything else in my inventory? Honestly, someone just spoiled this solution for me because I remember absolutely loathing this puzzle because of how much you just had to wait. Do you remember what to do? Oh, he's right there. Amigo. What? More super I just well. Okay. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of Yeah. Hey, Leo. <laughs> oh. What am I supposed yeah, how are you supposed to know that you could actually move him once you grab it? It's so dumb. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Benny, is that this little light of mine. Something's happening. Benny, what's going on? Yeah, how are you supposed to know that you could move him? And everything else, you just interact with it. And like, like you couldn't actually move with using the stick or anything. It would just like play out the animation. So that's like the know, first instance that that's like the ever happened. Looking at us. I'm not going down there while that monster's looking right at me. I'm not going down there while that That's okay, I got this guy right here. Go down there and talk to me. Heck no. I'm I'm not going down there while that monster's This guy. Hey, I've got more important things on my mind than Not me. Hey, I not me. Not me. Let's go around. I'm gonna go this way. It's so weird that they would suddenly introduce you having to move in mid-animation like that. Ugh. 
Watch those, <clears throat> hands, clams. Watch those hands, clams. I don't want to mess up my blood. I think we. Ugh. That octopus is tracking. I had. Trying to Ugh. look. I don't want to mess. I think we found our transportation. Our transportation. I don't know if I could throw the little guy at him. Tried to pick There's him up no or call. something. Hey, I've got more. Not me. Not me. Hey, not. How about you, Gladys? What do I you think? Get it. He's gonna get stuck. Kind of a bullshit puzzle, but that's okay. Hey, Leo. Ha ha. I've always thought that that shape, that shape eye is like the craziest shape, like that you see that sheep have, and this octopus has. Like, what must that look like from their point of view? Looks like we're heading south, but there's nothing on that edge of the world except the edge. Ah, oh, shit! Going to the edge of the world. There's a bullshit puzzle here involving like a factory or like a uh, conveyor belt that would also move just way too fast on modern machines. So I'm excited to not have to dick around uh, with my CPU clock speed to solve that. Because that's what I had to do. I remember having to download. I remember having to download a third party program that like slowed down my clock speed to stupidly slow levels just so I could solve that puzzle. Yeah. Not sure why I did that, but hey, whatever. Gladys, I'm gonna sneak inside and look for Mitchy. What if poke him in the eye and nope. steal his sub? I mean to do that. Stupid octopus. <laughs> Stupid octopus. This area kinda reminds me of a section in Riven. For those that played Riven, you know the section I'm talking about. Where like it's the survey island. And you go through that underwater tunnel to that sweet ass throne. Hmm, this door's locked. And that's where the prison that I'm gonna get stuck in in just a little bit. I think it's plot time. Really soon is plot time. It's empty. Oh, that's right. My computer's clock speed because some of the um the puzzles in the original game ran off of your computer's clock speed. It, like our, we had the original one of the original programmers in our chat, like a month or so back when I started streaming this, and he explained it. That's how he explained it, and that was my understanding as well. Manny, what are you doing here? I wanted to see how your trip was going, Angel. I am your travel agent, you know. By the way, thanks why would he call her Angel? He's just her travel agent. You were headed for a trap. I was trying to warn you. Domino was using me Domino? as bait. I didn't want you to end up a prisoner here like me. Prisoner? Where is your cell? Or are you just sharing a bunk with the warden? <laughs> if that's what you think of me, then why did you come here? Because this is where he belongs. Here, working for me. I knew you'd come around eventually. Right or wrong, Manuel Calabria uh, yeah, kind of. always with the team, right, Manny? That's why you're here now. I'm getting off this rock. And I'm taking all of these people with me. <laughs> all these people. <laughs> Manny, there's no way off this island. I'm afraid you're stuck here in my little executive training program. See, I need you to take my place here, kid. I've got to get back to the city where the action is. Sorry, Manny, but I had to come in. My skin was getting all pruney. Him, I don't need. <laughs> I'm going to grind you to powder for that cow, don't you? later. But for now, let me What's that word even mean? New office. I've heard it a few times. Bam. Eject. 
careful, BB. The new boss is waking up. Oh, now that voice sounds very familiar. No drawers. I like my old desk better. Hola, angelitos. Angelitos. I'll bite you, I swear to God. Please don't bite anyone else, Pugsy. That's why they put us in the cage in the first place. These voices, they're from something, I swear. Why do you want to bite me? You're the mean new boss. Mr. Hurley said you were Dang it, Bobby. Than him. <laughs> he said you had a bone saw. Oh my god, it's Bobby Hill. Dang it, Bobby. Why are you getting to <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm just shocked. You bite me and I'll sue your parents. Our parents. <laughs> Dang it, Bobby, I told you to take off that stupid bird costume. Oh fucking! This is why I need to listen to all day as a preschool teacher. Mr. Harley told us about you. You're the one who tricked Meche. Poor Meche. Trick anybody? Anybody? Mr. Harley said he was supposed to take care of Meche, but you stole her case from him. Is that true? Hmm. Let me see if I can explain this whole thing to you. You see, I had this job <laughs> selling travel packages to immigrant souls. If I sold enough of them, I got to leave the land of the dead. Now, I was in a slump and I really needed Plot a summary to this point. So You're a bad man. Go away, bad man. Yeah, go, go away. Go away, Batman. Mitch is my friend. You can ask her. She talked about you before. It's also Phil Pickles. Every yeah, that's the one I was thinking of as well. So Phil and Will. I don't know what you did to her, but you're going to be sorry. What are you two doing? He sounds a cage? lot more like Maybe Bobby in this, though. Bulbs. Look, we're working as hard as we can. Why don't you leave us alone? Uh, let's see. Yeah, one second, guys. I couldn't f find my shorter uh, controller cord, so I'm using like a longer one. I get super paranoid about the wheel of my chair rolling over the bottom of the cord. All right. Listen, children, I'm here to help. There's really not much more room in here. Your hands are too big to make light bulbs. Hmm. I'm here to help you get out of this cage. All the you dialogue. Can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitchie. She'd be so Keep sad. Keep Bobby. Alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. Whacking, whacking off of my tool shed. My hands are not too big to make light bulbs. Then why don't you help? My butt's too big to sit. Those little perches. I just don't have any of those little tiny tools, that's all. Here, take my hammer. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely Bobby. Hmm. You know, I really do want to help. Then why don't you? I'm in the Maritime Union. We can't do factory work. I don't know what those words mean. It means he doesn't want to help us because he's me. Dang it, Bobby. My butt's too big to sit on one of those little perches. Um, I'm going to tell Mecha you said that word to us. Perches? I told you he was bad. On second thought. <laughs> the only bad people say butt. Either, but we don't have a choice. Yeah, you're supposed to say bottom or bum. Yeah, you know, butt is slightly dirtier. You two bad little children. I'm glad you're in a cage. <laughs> oh, they don't give a shit. At least they're not crying. I'm just glad they're not crying anymore. I'm the one who's gonna take Meche out of here. What? You can't do that. Who's gonna take care of us? We'll be all Fuck. Alone. I spoke way too soon. Here comes the crying. <laughs> Nick Cage you have here. Mr. Hurley grew demon ravens with human heads in here. He said if we ever tried to get away, he'd send the ravens after us. And let them make nests out of well, our bones. I got the hammer. I think that's all I need to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I got a sweet little hammer. Wait, no. Oh, I gotta pick it up still. Right there. Ta-da. This is the tiniest little the tiniest, hammer I've ever seen. Tiniest little hammer. Oh god damn my voice. I try to do like a little spike and barley high pitch 
low voice. I don't know. It just didn't come out. My voice is still pretty sore. Oh, look, it's Not as bad as yesterday, time. but still pretty bad. Are you back here just to insult me some more, or do you just want some ice for your head? It's empty. Our type of business doesn't produce a lot of paperwork. So I do this. Which causes her to miss with her cigarette. She's like, ah, fuck. Haha! <sighs> <sighs> -ha. oh, Take that! Stockings! They're ruined! And this was my best hair! Yeah, it would have been nice, Gyro, if my voice was cooperating. One nice thing on this cruel island. Uh, what'd you just throw out? Mine. Not for me. What is? Oh, uh, the um, the speed at which you're working. That's nice, Manny, but you're not my boss, so really I couldn't care less. Good, excellent. Carry on. What is it? You know, a little clear nail polish would fix these right up. Hmm. Sir, do you have an appointment? I'm going in there to tell Domino my demands. Domino. I don't think you fully understand the chain of command around here. Pugsy and Vivi work for you. You and She's I missing her tibia. Which bone is the tibia again? Well, I think it's time for a little corporate restructuring. Domino. Domino. Domino! Taking your first coffee break already, Calavera? We got a score to settle, Issy. You know, if I ever spoke to my boss, Hector, that way. Hmm. You killed my best friend. You killed my best friend? The demon? <sighs> Manny, you can use a demon as a driver. Let him carry your messages. Wait, he killed? Let him serve Wait, you what? Food. But you can't ever start thinking of them as friends. It's just not natural. Did that happen already? I thought that that didn't happen yet. What are you doing out here on the edge of the world? Oh, I know. I ask myself that every day. But I'm going to train you, Manny, to take my place here running this two-bit light bulb factory. How can you keep little children in a cage? Trust me, it's easier than keeping big kids in a cage. He went off the edge of the world, really. Did I just seriously zone out while that was happening? Oh my lord. There's something wrong with me, guys. What? No, I'm not gonna slap myself. Why don't you just no. me like you try to put a sapato? That wasn't me. I can't that believe I, I missed so that. Unimaginative. Just wants to tie up the loose ends, you know? But I believe, however, that you can be rehabilitated through honest work. Work makes free. What yeah. makes you think I'm gonna work for you? Well, there's not much to do on this island if you don't work, take it for me. And think about it. Once I'm gone. It will be just you and Meche alone on this deserted island. Doesn't sound too awful, I guess. Don't tell me that prospect doesn't appeal to you. <laughs> I don't plan to be on this island for very long. Manny, I have all the guns. I have all the transportation. And I have all the brains. What are you gonna do? I was too busy pondering the meaning of Cabron. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Yeah, the the fatigue is starting to really hit me, so I think after this conversation, I'll save you and Hector call it a night. A, a little earlier than I was spot. expecting to, oh, but that's, that's okay. That's side benefit. The real purpose is to have a place we can lock up all those old clients of mine. Can't have good people wandering loose in the land of the dead, telling everybody how we stole their double end tickets. Now, can we? You stole all these people's tickets? Okay, how much of this haven't you figured out, Calavera? Capal Let me explain the whole the plot to you. To me after he switched over their tickets to a secret holding fund. I'd cover up the paper trail. Why is he telling him? Make sure that the pigeon jumped overboard at the pearl. Why? Why would he tell him all of this? I knew it. You were getting all the good clients. I handled them all, except for Mercedes, who you hijacked for me in that ridiculous hot rod, which I saw awesome hot the rod. time I was in Rubicava. I tell you, Manny, hot rods like that just don't look safe to me. Hmm. So it wasn't my fault Mecha didn't get a ticket. 
You stole it. Well, it's your fault she ended up in the forest instead of coming here right away. But I fixed that. Because he's cocky and an idiot. Yeah, I mean, that's what it usually boils down to, I guess. I'm taking Mitchie out of this dungeon. Manny. Isn't it fun to say those things? Yeah, maybe. A year out there in a petrified Never thought of it that way. Alone because of you. By comparison, I'd say I'm keeping her pretty comfortable here in my uh, dungeon, wouldn't you say? I mean, you don't come up with some crazy, complicated master plan and not get, like, really giddy to tell someone in great detail about your plan so that they understand just how well-crafted it is, right? One ticket for you, one for Hector. How many more do you need? Oh, Manny. We never touch the product ourselves. We sell a ticket to unfortunate souls, unable to lead moral lives because of the crippling amount of cash they were born into. Hmm. But you could just take the tickets and leave today. We found a way to make the land of the dead livable. Why would we want to leave? Nice island you got here. Yeah, the previous owners didn't know what they had here. Let us pick it up for a song. They scooped out all the coral they could reach with their crane and then abandoned the plant. But we knew we had what it would take to go the extra distance to the big reef. Are you about to lecture me about the winning attitude again? No! Slay no. Manny. That's the real ticket to success. Well, I gotta get back to Just like... To escape. <laughs> oh, no, that would have been a spoiler. Hey, Never mind. Kid. Knock yourself out. Forget about it. Achievement unlocked. Okay, how much of this haven't you figured out? Well, like, half the achievements are just quotes from the game. Got nothing. Like, when you get a certain dialogue tree, it gives you an achievement for it. Alright, well, I think I'm going to go there, because I'm, I'm really feeling out of it now, all of a sudden. I was, I was like, pretty solid. Like, good to go until about 11.30. And then all of a sudden, it just hit me like a truck. I think my voice is getting shot again. I keep telling myself I'm going to take a day off, just let it recover. And each day, I get to the end of the day, and I'm like, you know, it's been holding up today. I think I'll be fine for a stream. And each time, I regret it. So, I don't know. Maybe I will actually, for real now, take a day off. A day or two. You know, I just got back, uh, that's the worst part, I just got back in, into streaming, and already I'm like, Ooh, I need a day off! Ugh. Yeah, it does not feel good. But, at the same time, health, you know, health is important, I guess. I guess. So, I'm gonna close that, and let's check the art, and then I'll read off the new peeps. Here is a sweet uh, vine. Uh, it's a mushroom, but with like a really long stem. It's made by MW underscore. Thank you so much for the art. What'd you make that in? Did you make that in a calculator? Because it's a tagged calculator. Oh, you did make these in a calculator. Holy shit. I got to show some of these other ones because this is just too badass. These weren't for me, but I'm going to show it. Here's a sweet BRB image, also by MW. Oh, it's a shovel. Oh, okay. You made it with a TI-84. Here's one made for Rev. Oh, this is so freaking cool. Here's, here's a, a Sanic with massive legs. Oh, my God. Is that, like, based on Sonic Boom, I'm guessing? Here's one made for Limes. I'm showing all these just because it's so freaking badass. One day I'll get there. No, you won't. <laughs> and then finally, a sweet skull. Really, really cool art, MW. I like it a lot. That's awesome, actually. Mm. Uh, otherwise, I think that's it. There's some Majora's Mask art and stuff, but it's not for me. No worries. I'm just going to leave it on that, on the, the sweet shovel shroom. Shovel vine shroom thing. Uh, all right. Uh, give me a moment. Make fart noise with my mouth. Here are, uh, let's see, are there any new subscribers or anything? Nope. That's okay. But we do have some new follows. 
new followers are. Uh, hang on, I guess I could also bump this to the top just in case. Oh man, exploit is kind of a piece of shit right now. Okay. New followers are Vom underscore Dexes 117, Spooky Poops 420, uh, Remaster Gaming, uh, Alf Mega, Kingdom Fiend, Ty Beam, Maddie Madison 101, Sir Morgan Star. Uh, and that's it. Well, thank you so much. If I search your artist, artist tag, there's more. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, you just missed it, Gyro. I wanted to go a little longer, too, but it's almost midnight, so it was about time for me to go to bed, and my voice is starting to lose it. So, all done. All done. It, it's I'm so tired that I was literally about to say something immediately, like just as soon as it came. It already, it, I've already forgotten it. Spooky Poops 420 followed me, which is kind of funny because he actually subscribed to me like yesterday. So he subscribed before he followed just I think pretty rare scenario. It's a little note I want to point out there. All right, guys, that's it for me. Uh, thank you for watching. I think I am actually going to take a day or so off for real. Just watch how quickly I, I turn around on that promise. But uh, all right, have a great night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye.